while coral reefs only compose about one-tenth of one percent of the ocean floor, about a quarter of all marine life depend on coral reefs. They are not permanent structures because the animals which compose the coral reefs use symbiotic algae to harvest sunlight to get energy, and so therefore corals grow best at shallow depths so that their endosymbiont algae can use this sunlight. Sea level changes and continents move, and the ideal depths for coral reefs therefore are forever changing. In the last two million years, some of the greatest changes have occurred during the ice ages. During the glacial periods, an enormous amount of water on planet Earth was tied up in the glaciers, which covered Canada and the northern U.S. with sheets of ice so thick that it measured at least a third of a mile in thickness. Because of all of this water being tied up in glaciers, sea level fell, and the areas which are now coral reefs and the bottom of the ocean were exposed dry land. The coral reefs during the glacial period occur in what is today water too deep to support corals. During interglacial periods, sea level rose dramatically as the ice that covered the north and south poles melted. This caused sea level to be much higher than it is today, and much of the southern coast of the United States and, say, the Florida Keys were at the bottom of the ocean. The Florida Keys are the remnants of coral reefs during the interglacial periods when sea level was higher. Although they are exposed today, they were once the bottom of the ocean. They were formed by coral reefs. Today there is a great deal of ice frozen in the Arctic Ocean, over Greenland, and over Antarctica. Not as much as during the ice ages, but far more than in the interglacials. And so if one considers the coastline, such as the Florida coastline and the Florida Keys, sea level is higher than it was during glacial periods, but not as high as it was during interglacial periods. The coral reefs of today were exposed dry land during the glacial periods when sea level was much lower, but they were far too deep uh, to be coral reefs during the interglacial periods.